Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the final part of the USA's Western Desert case study, focusing on water supply issues in the desert. If you haven't studied this case study, you may wish to watch the Tar Desert videos instead. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. There is very little precipitation in the Western Desert, However, large-scale water transfers from the Colorado River have enabled tourism and farming to prosper in this region. However, in recent years, rapid population growth has led to a water crisis. The Colorado River is huge, travelling 2,300 kilometres and brings meltwater from the Rocky Mountains into the western desert. Indigenous populations drew water from the river through a series of small dug canals, which they use to irrigate their crops. However, the water supply here is unreliable. River discharge is high in the summer due to snowmelt, but the flow is extremely low between September and April, which is problematic for farming. The Hoover Dam was constructed in the 1930s with Lake Mead, a reservoir behind it. You can see both of these on the screen. They can store two years worth of river flow. In the 1960s, the Glen Canyon Dam was also built. These two dams and the reservoir control the river, preventing periods of flooding and drought. Water is piped from Lake Mead along a series of aqueducts to be used for domestic and agricultural uses, as well as to water the many golf courses in this region, and to provide water for all the luxury hotels in Las Vegas. However, transferring water across the Western Desert has brought many advantages and disadvantages. There are several advantages of transferring water across the Western Desert. These include cities such as Phoenix, Las Vegas and San Diego all being supplied with a reliable source of water. It also means that irrigation can enable 1.5 millions of land to be farmed with fruit and vegetable crops, as well as livestock grazing. This region produces approximately one-fifth of the USA's crops and one-sixth of the USA's livestock, and it contributes around $2 billion per year to the USA economy. Not bad for an area where farming shouldn't really exist because of the lack of precipitation. However, there are also many disadvantages of transferring water across the western desert. Firstly, the dams trap silt and sand which builds up behind the dam. This has an impact on marine wildlife as it changes water temperature which many species can't adapt to. This is because sunlight heats up the silt which warms the surrounding water. The water in the reservoir though behind the dam is much deeper than the main river and as a result is much colder. Again, this is very difficult for marine habitats to adapt to. Additionally, the trapped silt and sand means that the river banks have been starved of sediment. So the sand banks are much smaller, which has had an impact on river habitats and has made fishing along the banks more difficult. And finally, of course, water transfer schemes are very expensive, although this is not a huge issue in a country as rich as the USA. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on water supply in the Western Desert and some of the issues around it. Thank you for watching.